Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading, always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of December. As usual, I have a special sales offer available and actually for December I have two options. One, it's called um, a gift from the universe universe and kind of um, gives us a better understanding of what type of gifts and good news opportunities are coming our way during the season and the other one is called chapter 21 and it's a yearly um, reading it's uh, one that looks into the next year cycle uh, what kind of challenges major themes um, events experiences uh, lessons obstacles as well might be a part um, for uh, your personal case. So if you'd like to know more details about those special offers or any other of my services, just um, email me with your questions. You know, the email address is in the description box below. Or if you'd like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Sagittarius, some of you during December, you're very concentrated and focused very much in uh, what interests you, in what moves you, in what makes you feel, in what makes you wonder, in what makes you almost like uh, something that has to be so strong and so important that feels like it expands your heart space and it keeps expanding and growing and growing and growing. And there's a beautiful energy for some of you of creative uh, self-growth. So for some of you, you're creating here um, and growing at the same time your identity in the world. Some of you are ready to do certain things. Um, you have felt unprepared to do um, during this whole year. Um, it's a, a return of a, an energy of motivation for some that is what is here um, shown as the big difference as why you might not feel ready and safe to take certain steps that you have been feeling um, insecure or that just simply you couldn't. There has been an obstacle to get you to leap into something you really, really, really desire, something you really, 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 really love as you do have here the Queen of Cups shown in your unconscious. So you're driven uh, what is driving you to encounter the type of experiences you encounter, to make the choices you make, to go after what you will be going after, to feel what you will be feeling, basically has a foundation in the Queen of Cups, which is in an energy of great self-love and also uh, expression of love to others. This is the Queen that unconditionally loves everything and everyone and feels extremely connected at a very, you know, psychic level even to her surroundings. So some of you, if you, if, if you have felt like disconnected or off with your emotions, December can be magnificent to create that, um, that sense of, you know, for some of you, Sagittarius, almost like feeling like your heart is beating again. And you're happy with yourself, you know, for, for some of you, you're happy with yourselves in a way that you haven't um, felt in a long time. For some of you, it could be, again, because you have really been working on your self-development, you know, development, especially Sagittarius out there um, that are interested you know, in the arts of healing, the occult, the esoteric, that uh, you know, kind of try to dive into um, symbolic language uh to get a better understanding of themselves and the, the world around uh sagittarius that somehow are gifted in nature as well in this arts this is a very strong um important month to feel seated in your power especially when we pair the queen of cups with the high priestess it's a very strong sacred feminine vibe here so for sagittarius um women listening nobody can really take you out of your throne anymore you have done huge work you have done here 
some of you Sagittarius woman in particular, you have overcome something big when it came to, um, I feel like survival uh, of your emotional uh, survival of your emotional self. So there has been something in your past that uh, really tear down your trust in love or tear down your relationship with your self in a loving way. Perhaps there has been for some of you Sagittarius uh, issues with self-hatred and for others a feeling of being a victim, a constant victim of, you know, for some of you, it's like a victim of um, everybody's ill intentions and not feeling backed up by God, not feeling backed up by the universe. And that's what's changing for some of you. It's like you're almost like returning to the good graces in a sense that you're returning home. Your heart is also being set in the right place right now. So there has been also some of you both male and female Sagittarius that, you know, is almost like the intention uh, when it came to heart matters was off. And so maybe <clears throat> some of you were pursuing or after the wrong kind of love, the wrong kind of relationships. Um, maybe some of you have been in a very erratic, also dynamic where there has been a lot of on and off kind of um, developments in love. Like you, you, you meet someone and it's it it, it grows fast and it happens. Um, the relationship kind of evolves in a very fast, you know, almost like um, extremely passionate way. But it then, you know, it has this break. It has this. Um, it reaches its halt and then it stops. And then it picks up again and then it stops. So there has been a lack of flow, consistency, harmony in merging your energy with others. Particularly, I feel like this is an important month for some of you Sagittarius when it comes to love matters because it will be a decisive uh, period when it comes to enlightenment and really, really understanding what it is that you're after if the person that it's with you um, serves or not this new version of yourself you have been creating, um, if your heart is in the right place when it comes to this person, if this person also has their heart on, 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 on place to work with you, if you can merge together emotionally or not, because that's what some of you are after, like perfection when it comes to emotional compatibility i feel especially with the queen of cups here maybe some of you already found this person but it feels like for those that have found a potential partner like this especially if you have been dealing with a water sign influence so uh cancer scorpio pisces or earth could also be uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you, you, you are just taking your sweet time here because you want to make a move that is going to be, um, you know, on point, like certain that it's going to work and it's going to last and it's going to be well received. If this is coming from an offer you're contemplating, work you're contemplating doing with someone. And this can be romantically speaking, this could be about someone you're really interested in working with. The merging of energies here could also be the desire to merge your knowledge with another person. As some of you are shown here as being highly um, knowledgeable during this time. Uh, and this is something that is standing out, is uh, how super you know intelligent some of you are and super in particular super emotionally intelligent there's an emotional intelligence to you that is going to be um felt again without some of you even opening your mouth it's just your energy the energy you come in with to the month uh, it's special it's sacred and some of you are also meeting a pair when it comes to this energy where they also have this this quality that can be um 
almost intimidating at, at first, like this unapproachable vibe uh, that can at times exude from this kind of personality, like the high priestess personalities. Being at the high priestess is also in your soul position. Some of you are very, very, very private about how you're feeling, though. It's like you're really keeping something to yourself, something that you feel is being precious, something that you feel as you need to protect, you need to guard for the time being. As I feel like, again, some of you are just preferring to move things slowly, surely, but, you know, steady pace. It's like you don't want to rush, you don't want to stall, but, you know, you want that timing for things to evolve naturally and so Sagittarius men you could be either dealing with an extremely sensitive nurturing psychic uh, female someone that can connect with you at that level at that soul level um, and this person if this person feels like very unreachable right now um, they're not, they also have their attention centered on you. you can have a way to this person's heart, but yes, the approach in which you choose to kind of show your, um, attention or affection or interest, or even, uh, present your offer. If it is about work, if it is about just getting to know this person at a friendship level, whatever it is. Um, yes, the, the way you present uh, what you want out of this person is need, needs to be, um, you know, it needs to be worked through because it has to be very, um, I feel like, you know, you're, it needs to be very delicate kind of presentation of subtle, mysterious almost. This person might want... Um, a little bit of that guessing game with you so this could be coming from you this could be coming from the other person I feel like it's more like of a mutual interest and fascination actually that both of you have with each other that creates this dynamic regardless but any step you take right now in December um, it's one that should be um, acknowledged, uh, approved, let's put it that way, by your intuition. Um, if you feel very drawn to reading, studying, taking courses, things of that nature, even if it's about, you know, themes or subjects that are unusual for you, move in that direction. You can, some of you that are concerned about, you know, academic, your academic life, for those of you that are studying, I think that you're going to do extremely well. In December, there's something about you acquiring um, powerful knowledge during this time and having good presentation over all of your, of your, of your powers, of your intellect, of what you have learned. Um... For some of you, it could even be that there are some Sagittarius here that can even have like this, uh, I don't, you know, highly developed actually intel intelligence in, in being, in being, but only discovering this right now or only being rec this thing about you, this this particular um, high level of intelligence only being, um, you know, seen right now, perhaps because of the teachers some of you are having or, you know, there's something about just the way your brain works that can be extremely fascinating to others. Um, for Sagittarius, are also working a lot with counseling. You can really be in a position where you offer healing and counseling and aid and help um, people around you have um, a gifted nature that it's being actualized right now, extremely, being in paper, being um, in touch, being in active communication, and even though with the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups, I think it's a more subtle energy here, but the craft, you, you are gifted. It's of extreme importance to put it into 
you know, um, to put it into motion right now. It's also important to allow things to occur, to evolve at the natural pace. And I feel like for those that have had issues with control, you're you're able to overcome that uh, that problem. I see you actually allowing the flow, being smart because you have such a, such a, um, the influence of the high priestess with you that she, you know, is taking the wheel and she will help you, you know, back off your own way when you're controlling too much and just allow situations to unfold the way they are meant to be. So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I want to wish all of you happy holidays and thank you for being there, um, uh, watching my channel and contributing each one of you in your own ways throughout the year of 2020. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other again.